Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved on the center map server. Now, what we're going to be doing today is something pretty exciting. We're going to be heading out and we're going to be finding us a mammoth. Now, we need, you know, just kind of going on with our build here, we need that berry collector, that thatch machine and all that kind of stuff. And the mammoth is kind of the way to go. I'm kind of skipping the trike, the stego and all that kind of stuff and going right up to the mammoth. Now, in the last episode, we kind of got going with our farm and all that kind of fun stuff over here. So that's growing nice and nice and fine I'm eating because there's not much meat on this island I'm actually eating the crops so that I can keep alive stay sustained and all that kind of stuff so what we need to do is first I've started on a boat build now I kind of want to show you how boat uh, building boats works in this game because there are some goofy tricks that you can kind of use and kind of abuse to get yourself a pretty sweet boat. So first we're gonna get into a boat that can transport the mammoth back because we gotta think about that before we're actually out there taming the mammoth. And then we're gonna go out to the tundra, explore that a little bit, and get us a mammoth. So anyway, no further ado, as we can see, or as you can see, we've got our boat going on over here. Now, this is the vanilla boat stats, so this is all you can get on a normal boat structure. So, this actually can be done on official servers and that kind of stuff, but you do have to be a little glitchy about it. Now, you can extend it out with foundations to the back like this. I'll show you here in a second kind of how this works on a different boat that doesn't have everything on it, but I do want to show you how it all works together and how it looks in conjunction with one another and whatnot. So anyway, let's go into here, if we can glitchily get underneath here, and let's hop into our raft so anyway we've got our we could only do one floor because if we did another we would not have enough room because this is max structure this is as much as we can get on here so we've got our one little storage container we've got our back part right here and then if you go up into this area hopefully we should be able to hold a mammoth and other large dinosaurs right on this platform now I did put a little ramp here on the back so we can easily get those dinosaurs right onto here oh oh if I can get onto here, holy crap, yeah, getting on and off boats is not not the prettiest thing in ARK. So, we've, we're actually kind of moving around kind of weird on this boat for some reason. Uh, but anyway, why don't we get into, I'm going to show you how to extend your boat out further this direction. And then I'm also going to show you how to put on this little sloped front because, you know, it actually looks like a boat now. So first we're going to get into that and then we'll uh, go see if we can find us a mammoth. Alright, so here we are on the... PVE server that I've got going on so basically I could just spawn in a few things so that we could just get this going and I could just easily show you what we've got going on here so the two main things that I wanted to show you when building the boat that you just saw uh, on the center map server so basically you want to extend this out so now as you can see I can't go any further you can't go any further out than this and on the other boat I've actually extended it out further so what you need to do is you let's see here take our pillar we'll take this sucker and we'll just put it in this one. So you do the, maybe. Okay, we can't put it in that one. What, what's going on here? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Duh, we're gonna put it in the foundation one. You don't put it in the ceiling one. So you throw these on here like this, and you're gonna go out to there. Now those have foundation from that or something, I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, what I can do now is can we do it? There we go. There it is. There it is. Right there. We just throw down our foundation. Now, we can throw down another foundation on that foundation. And <laughs> you can just extend this thing out. So, it's pretty dang awesome. As you can see, if you don't do it with the pillar like that. Uh, uh, uh. Right there. Right there. Boom. You cannot get it. You can't. You just can't put it. No matter what I do, I can't throw that down. But when you throw the pillar here right into let's let's get it into the, come on now you throw that there you throw that there and you throw that out and then you can go like this boom right there and then as you can see we've got foundations out to here so you can literally if you've got enough room let's make a few more of these i can now as you can see extend this this way far out i'm going to extend any of these levels all the way out again so basically I know this looks really stupid but this is just to show you show you what's going on 
That's why I already pre-built it so you could kind of see the aim as to what we're going for. But as you can see, you can extend that out like super, super, fi basically as far as you want to go. And then basically we've got the sloped front as well. So that's what we've got to focus on a little bit here. So if we go boom and we go... Okay, so I, I forgot to show you. We'll throw it on this side. On If we turn around and go to this side, we want to throw our railing right here. See right here? On the inside, not the outside like that. We'll throw it on the inside. And then what you want to do is you want to go here, and you want to snap it. You want to aim for snapping on the end of your railing like you would if you were doing like you have these on the ground or whatever. So basically, snap it. Come on, man. We could do it. You kind of got to glitchily do this. You got to hope for it to snap onto there. Once you find the sweet spot, it's all it's all good. All right, come on. We can do it. All right, so I found the little angle and I don't want to lose it. So, once you find it, you can just click this sucker in and now it is connected here to your fence foundation. So, <laughs> now the fun part is you got to do it again, but this part I usually find you can usually find it a little bit easier. Now this is to get that second second layer sometimes if you stand behind it you just gotta find the right way there it is there it is alright so again we found this angle here perfect so we've got that after a whole lot of trying to get it into the right spot oh wait oh my gosh was that the right spot right there oh that was so close right there oh right there right there right there, right there. please let me get it oh my gosh yes we got it okay perfect so as you can see we've got a nice little point going on here so if we just remove this wooden ceiling here and we remove this wooden you could you know you know what I mean we'll just remove all these wooden ceilings and we should be okay I hope sometimes if you haven't connected it correctly onto there and it actually connected to the ceiling it's all gonna break so sometimes you just have that chance so as you can see hopefully come on let me remove you you think this is gonna work we will see or maybe we won't maybe I shouldn't stand on it this time oh yes there we go so we remove our ceilings oh. okay so you do not want to remove that one so basically I've gotten it back to this point after going through that again, so we want to remove not this. Let's let's stand on this one. Make sure we don't remove the one underneath it. So we'll remove that. Jump off of here, and then we will. I still don't want to remove that one. I'm scared I'm gonna get it again. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so as you can see, we cannot fill in these parts because there there isn't a triangle foundation piece in the game quite yet, but I mean always wishful thinking, but anyway you can just layer that up with walls and all that kind of stuff and you're all set, so that's how you extend it out this way and how you build a little you know, spiked or not spiked, but sloped front on it, you know, which actually looks like a normal a boat as you can see Pretty cool, but we're gonna go back to the center map and we'll keep going with that uh, mammoth search You're back And I thought it was gonna be kind of difficult to find a mammoth, you know kind of wandering around out in the tundra area But as you can see or might have just seen a little bit of if we can get out of our little can we get out of here? Is this a thing? All right, thank you. Okay, so anyway now that we've gotten out of the hole what we got to do is Let's check out our surroundings. So as you can see, there are obviously mammoth. Everywhere there's mammoth, 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 mammoth. And uh, so we don't have to worry about having to search for these at all. So let's just chill off shore here for a second. This is where I am. Now, the tundra extends from where I am around that little, you know, semicircle or half circle to the left of us. So, you know, if you go to the west side of the map that's basically all going to be tundra so anyway we've got our mammoths chilling around here so i think we'll probably just leave the boat here for now until we actually tame up the guy and then okay all right so let's see what levels we've got out here and hopefully we can avoid the argents now i did go and i made darts because otherwise the arrows are just going to take a little bit too long let's stay away from that argent i don't want it to come down on us okay that one's level 20 we i'm looking for something not too, too high because we don't actually have kibble, and I'd like to kibble tame one later on, so we'll, we'll save that for later. We just need a basic one. This one's level 8. What do we got over here? Level 4? What level are you? 28? Okay. So these are all pretty low. Anything over there? Okay. 
I don't see any more mammoths. They just seem to be clumped on the shore. Maybe they're all just really thirsty right now. Uh, they're all just getting water. So I, I didn't. None of these are really high level, so maybe we'll just go for this level 21 closest to our boat and just kind of go with that. Because, you know, we'll level it up and get it strong. It's not, not like it matters too much. We're not going for show here. We just need something to get us started here on the center. So anyway, let's hit it in the head and let's see here. Oh god, oh this was a bad idea. We cannot have these other ones aggro on us. Are you that slow? Is it coming after me? Is it running right now? Okay. This is going to be really difficult. I don't know if we're going to be able to get away from this guy. <laughs> nice try, you missed. Alright, but anyway, let's get further away so we can actually shoot him a couple times. It isn't going to take too many darts. Now, mammoths aren't too, too crazy. But, like I said before, they are my favorite berry gatherer. So, it should be alright. We should have a, a nice amount of... Oh, 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 we don't want to go over there. Okay, we'll stay over in this general vicinity. If this Argent wants to stick around, I'd be definitely okay with shooting that with a couple darts, too. Come here, you. Where are you going? Don't don't walk away from me. Alright, so he is down. Took, uh, it took quite a few darts for a little level 21, so this is not gonna, we're not gonna have a problem with Topor on this one. I'm just gonna gather berries by hand now. I could have used, like, the advanced crops and that kind of stuff, because we have them at the base, but I don't want to waste them. They don't actually make the time faster. They just make the taming effectiveness better, um, and as you can see, or you can't really see yet until I start taming it, but the taming effectiveness is not going to be that high anyway. So what level are you, Mr. Argent? Well, it doesn't really matter at this point, I kind of have to shoot you now anyway. This is going to be the best way to kill it. So, oh, it's level 64. It's not too bad. If we could take it down with these darts, with this many darts, this might be a nice little addition to tame along <laughs> as well as this mammoth. Where are you going? Don't you fall asleep over that water. Oh no, don't do it. He's gonna come back. He'll come back. Let's see how this mammoth's doing. He'll... He, he can't resist. See, he's coming. He's coming back. Come here, you. Alright. <laughs> and look at this... Oh my god, I didn't even take a... I didn't even really get to take a second to look around and just check out the scenery that we've got going on. We're not too far from the base. The base is right over in that ish area. So, we're not too far, and as you can see, the tundra extends all the way up there. So, now we've got an Argent knocked out here as well. So, there's plenty of meat in the area, so I'm sure I can keep this thing fed as we tame up this mammoth. I mean, might as well, because this is going to take a bit of time. I mean, it is only level 20, so it won't be too horrible. Uh, let's throw a couple berries in it, just so that we can see what's going on here. Let's, let's go see what's on top of this hill as well. I did want to see what we had in this area. Are there any resources low down over here? I was hoping maybe we could see some crystal or something like that. It doesn't seem too too bad over here. Oh, I'm getting hungry. We're gonna have to pick berries for all of us. Um, but anyway, it doesn't seem too dangerous over in the tundra area, at least on the center. You know, if you go into an area like this in, you know, the island map, you're gonna have struggles because there are dire wolf and saber tooth everywhere. And I don't really see too much of anything over here. Alright, so I think we've collected... Have we got it? Alright, I think we've got a decent amount of berries. Probably enough to... Let's eat these. Oh, we won't take the good ones. We'll leave the good ones for the mammoth. Alright, we'll eat all these. Oh, crap, crap. There we go. Alright, perfect. So let's make our way back. And like I said, his topor isn't going to be a problem. And we should be able to just carry him back on our boat just as we came and it wasn't like i said was it too too far so all right what you got going on over here mammoth let's see here let's throw these in can we can we put them in here all right how long are you gonna take how long is it gonna be because i need it all right so look at that he's not it's not too bad we've got a nice little start see his taming effectiveness is only plus nine anyway so i'm not too worried about using those advanced crops all right so we're gonna tame this guy up and then i kind of want to show you well on our way back we'll, we'll make our way through the jungle or not sorry not the jungle the swamp because there is a jungle and a swamp on this map so anyway we'll go through the swamp and we will kind of show you how to get mushrooms and flowers and all that kind of stuff here in the center map so i think i've got a pretty good technique so we'll we'll head out and we'll do that after we've tamed up this mammoth and well argent yeah argent all right we're back and the poor level 20 mammoth that we had down was murdered by dire wolves it was horrible 
Um, right as I, I went and made a saddle, and right as I was coming back, when I loaded back in, the direwolves came, and I just had to watch from shore as they ate him. So basically, I only had enough darts to take down this poor little 4-1, but anyway, it'll be enough to show that we could get it on the transport, hopefully, and actually use it to get our... We're actually really close to the swamp being in this area, so we can get our mushrooms and our... Oh. Are you almost there? One more bite? One more bite. All right, so he's got one... Oh, it's starting to rain. It's going to thunderstorm on the center map. It doesn't just have normal rain. It has these thunderstorms, which are pretty epic and way cooler than just normal rain. At least it gives a little little point to the rain. Okay, we've got our, we've got our mammoth. All right, perfect. So we've got him. So we're all set. It teamed out at a whopping level 5. Uh, what I'm more excited about is this Argent right here. Level, it teamed out at 95 because I was able to get a ton of Prime because there was only di or like not Dire Wolves, but uh, Mammoths around here. So it was really nice to just be able to do that. So let's turn off our... Let's, let's break our fire. We don't want to leave this behind. Let's take the meat off of it. We could probably use the charcoal too. Let's just take it all. And let's just destroy this thing. All right, so let's get our mammoth on our boat. All right, I'm going to get him on the boat, and then we'll head out, and I'll show you kind of over here where we can get our mushrooms to tame up our, oh my gosh, thunder, <laughs> where we can get our mushrooms to tame up, like, procoptodons and that kind of stuff. And then we can also get our rare flowers for the kibble for things like the lystrosaurus and that kind of stuff. So they're actually important resources now. So I'm going to go grab those, and I'll kind of show you where they're at. So our boat worked perfectly. I mean, he's kind of floating a little bit, but I think he's on the upper level, but that's all right. So it, it carries him really well. Let's actually leave the mammoth, or not the mammoth, the Argent here. Stay there. All right, so basically we want to get us some mushrooms. So what you want to search for are these, these trees right here, kind of in the swamp and that kind of stuff. And if you gather these, oh, whoa, it's different on the center map. Okay. All right, never mind here. This is something we're learning together. Uh, unless I got it from some bushes in the ground, usually... You cannot get rare flowers from trees on the normal island, but it seems like these trees are giving both rare... No, no, no. I think I hit some bushes that were kind of trapped under the ground. As you can see, if we take our mammoth through here, we'll get rare flowers and we'll also get mushrooms. I'm not sure if the... Let's see here. Let's test this out. We gotta see if these mushrooms are actually coming from the tree... Or the flowers are actually coming from the trees, or if they're coming from something underneath the muck. So we've got rare mushrooms from the trees, just like normal. Okay, yeah, but rare mushrooms from the trees. I think I was hitting plants underneath, so maybe if you just stomp around, like, right here. Oh, there's a tree. Let's stomp right here. Where are those bushes at? There were definitely... Oh, right there. See, I just hit a bush. Where, Where is those at? Where are they at? Can we just find one? But anyway, they must be just underneath the the club or the cover of all this moss and algae and stuff. See, there was rare flowers right there. I don't think that came from the tree. Oh, oh, we got a sarco attack! Oh no, our mammoth isn't that strong yet. What level is this sarco? Oh, we've got a titan bow too. Maybe we can get some levels. Oh my gosh, can't even see anything under this under this muck. It's horrible. All right, see if we can actually kill this thing. Oh, he's getting bloody. He's getting bloody. I think it'll be alright. Alright, he's level 48. Alright, let's get back to our boat. We've got our rare flowers. We've got our mushrooms. So anyway, it looks like you can come to any part of the swamp, and stuff underneath here is going to give you your, your rare flowers. But I just recommend probably just going around hitting all the trees, because you're just going to gather them all together that way. Otherwise, we got our mammoth. We got our mammoth transport type shit. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get them on top of here while swimming. That's always the hardest part. Let's see if our ramps can are extending far enough. See, I don't know. Yeah, we can. Oh, that's great. Okay, so we can park him nicely right here. And our Argent stayed perfectly in place, so we can just whistle him on. So we got our boat, we got our mammoth, we've got some mushrooms and rare flowers to get started on some advanced taming and that kind of stuff. But otherwise, I think that's where we're going to stop for today. If you liked the video, definitely hit that thumbs up. Help me out here. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you all have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time here on the center map.